Okay, so no script. This defines an alternate content for users that do not support client-side scripts. So if you don't have JavaScript enabled, then you would see, sorry, your browser does not support JavaScript, but it works for me, so, so I see that. Okay. Uh, object defines an embedded object. So you can use this for multimedia embedding, like audio, video, Java applets, and uh, you could also embed another web page. Um, and you can use the param tag to pass parameters to plugins. So this is just like using the embed tag a little bit. Okay. Uh, OL defines an ordered list. So we saw this earlier list items and then um, you could have it start at a certain number if you wanted to this one starts at 50 um, okay so that could actually be numeral or alphabetical so that's good to know it doesn't have to just be with numbers you could use letters Opt group defines a group of related options in a drop-down list. So here's the list, and you have Swedish cars, Volvo, Saab, German cars, Mercedes, Audi. So it helps you separate those options. Uh, output defines the result of a calculation. Oh wait, I missed one. Well, option is just, uh, you saw this in the with the opt group example, just different options within a drop-down element. And it goes inside either select or data list element. So output defines the result of a calculation. Uh, you can see here, this doesn't work in Internet Explorer, but in Chrome you can see 100 plus do, 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 just change the numbers. So or right here it's 100, right here it's zero. And just kind of an interesting way to uh, change the range. But you can see here, output, that's where you'll see the, the answer. Okay. So that's good for scripts, working with scripts. P is just for a paragraph. Uh, param defines a parameter for an object. So like for the for this one, um, it has autoplay set to true. So this will play as soon as you open the file. Uh, okay. And what else? Pre defines pre-formatted text. So this one, it will, um, it has a fixed width and it preserves the spaces and line breaks. So that's useful if you just want to display the text exactly how you wrote it here. And progress represents the progress of a task. Uh, you can see it's just a simple bar and then the value. So if I put like 92, then it's almost complete. Uh, it doesn't work in IE9 and earlier versions, but other browsers it works. So Q defines a short quotation. Um, you can see here, you don't have to include the quotation marks. It'll do that automatically. And Let's see, RP, this defines what to show in browsers that do not support Ruby annotations. So you can see it, uh, it just comes up like that. And yeah. RT defines an explanation or pronunciation of characters. 
Um, this one doesn't really work because yeah, my browser can't read those. And Ruby just defines a Ruby annotation. And this is just for like East Asian vocabulary. But once again, browser can't read it. So S defines text that is no longer correct. So what it will do is just cross out this whole line. Uh, my car is blue, now my car is silver. So it strikes through. And SAMP defines sample output from a computer program. So here are the text examples again. And this one is how it's formatted. So And script defines a client-side script. So you can put JavaScript in here. And uh, instead of printing um, hello JavaScript like inside of a paragraph, what it does is it'll get the element by the ID demo. And then inside the HTML, it'll put this. So it's just a kind of a different way to um, use text in your document. And there's a lot you can do with this. This is just kind of an introduction to it. And section will define a section in your document. So this is useful, like, you know, just for separating different parts, different sections. 